could have done a better job. <laughs> hey, okay. Gracias. Yo tengo una máquina de coser en casa. Si quiere le puedo hacer un trabajo mucho mejor. She says she has a sewing machine at home and if you care to, she can make your pants look like new. No, thank you. I have a friend whose mom weaves and I send her all my rips and tears. It's kind of like a promise. Well, as long as you have not your pants on. Oh, is that so? Yes, I've always hated those square needles. It was necessary. Now, you wouldn't say that if you knew anything about pain. Just a little death in the shot to make sure. <clears throat> make sure I never forget your wonderful work, sir. Senor Robinson? Yes, honey. Uh, Dennis, you play? When? Well, <laughs> maybe never again, actually. <clears throat> Acapulco. Uh, next week, uh, la semana proximo. Uh, would you like to come? Uh, venga. Maybe. All right. Gracias. I wish you would. <laughs> Dr. Quesada should sew so good. <laughs> Are you about done with me, Doc? Oh, in a day or so, I changed the dressing. It's just a scratch. Okay. Now, what about Senor Valdez? Is there anything I can do for him? Oh, he'll be all right. A more severe wound than yours, but he'll be fine. Oh, what about the fight? Uh, how did it start? I mean, what happened? Oh, we call it machissimo. Who is the better man? It started in the barn and finished on the pavement. Yes, we call it the same thing, and it usually starts in the same place. This was two against one, though. What do you call that? I don't think it started that way. Well, at least Valdez says it didn't. Okay. Take care of yourself. All right, I will, Doc. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night. Oh, my poor baby, my poor hurt baby. Well, it's just a scratch. Of course, it hurts a lot. Senor, you can't go there. Listen, honey. You let can't, me, please, please, you please, can't please. go there. Please, hey, that's Scotty. Who is Scotty? Well, he's sort of like the U.S. Marines. He always arrives in the nick of time. Listen, kiss me. Very passionately, quick. Please, please don't. Please. Please. Get off. Uh, listen, I heard you had a knife fight. Mm hmm. Uh, are you all right? Mm hmm. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Sorry, Senor, but they had the rules. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> Listen, 
I have a whole thing about hospital corridors. Mostly I just hate them because the way they smell. Now, let's file this under soon-to-be-finished business and get out of here. It's a lot, eh? forever be singing and talking about the trembling of your body on the beach and the warmth of your lips in the sand. I don't know. Your trouble is you let that girl get you down. No. No, it's not that. Anyway, that's against department rules. You get involved, you may get called upon a carpet. Um, Herman, uh, I think that you could go ahead and date her if you want. Nobody's gonna bother you. Oh, man, there's some girls you just don't fool around with if you know that there's no future in it for them. Right. Hey, you know what your trouble is? What's that? Your trouble is your metabolism's low. You run down, man. Now you wait till we get to Acapulco. Then you're in. I like to lose myself for about seven years. Just lay on the beach and listen to my wheels cogitate. Uh-huh. Right, for about two hours. And that's all you'd be able to take. You're one guy that can't lay back in no bed doing nothing with your hands behind your neck. I settle for a week. I think I will, man. No kidding. Uh, I think I'm going to let myself get lost for about a week uh, where nobody can find me. Not even you. Well, um, would you like to make that interesting? What do you mean? I could. Could what? Find you. Don't be frivolous, my son. There don't nobody find me if I take off 40 hours alone with a good burro. <laughs> I'll give you 12 hours and I'll find you any place in Mexico. Bet. <clears throat> How much? <sighs> give you 12 hours and we'll meet... Uh, in uh, Acapulco, let's say um, uh, one week from tomorrow at La Concha, Las Brisas Hotel. If you get there before I find you, you win the bet. What are the ground rules? Ground rules say you cannot leave Mexico. You gotta stay right in there, but you can hide, drift, fly, crawl, do anything you want to. You're on, pard, for one of them great Mexican dinners with jerk venison mules ears and refried beans. It's no good, cash. Bet me a dollar. You got it. I'll close my eyes. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Mm-hmm. One week. Sooner. No, sorry about that. <laughs> All right, I get a job tomorrow. Hello. Kelly Robinson, please. No, he's not here. With whom am I talking? Oh, this is a friend of his, Scott. Where can I find Mr. Robinson? I don't know. I've got to find him. It's urgent. Well, with whom am I speaking? Dr. Munoz. I pitied him last night for a knife wound. It is absolutely necessary that I see him again. Why? The man who was stabbed with him may die from anthrax, septicemia, virulent blood poisoning. From the knife? That is right. It was contaminated with anthrax bacillus. Both men were cut with the same knife. You said you didn't know where Mr. Robinson is? I know he's in Mexico, that's all. Listen, uh, you call the police and give him a description. I'll get a picture down to him or whatever. A doctor? 
How much time does he have? Well, that's difficult to say. At first, your friend will feel a little ill, then progressively worse. I must tell you, unless treated, anthrax is nearly always fatal. Count on its being fatal. How much time does he have? His wound is not as severe as the other man's. How much time does he have? 24 hours. <laughs> parts of your country used to skin sheep or cattle or to butcher them. Now, the two North Americans responsible for the knifing are engaged in such a business. Uh, according to what the hospital has told me, the spores of the anthrax bacilli are long-lived, possibly as long as a week on a knife such as this. Hmm. And uh, there was this uh, bet, you say? Just something to do, something silly. And now something deadly. Mexico is a big country, senor. Doesn't make any difference. We'd better find him. Well, it makes a difference. There is the time in which we have to find him. And he is going to try to keep out of our way. 24 hours, perhaps less. And after that, he may be beyond our help. About this uh, bet, senor, how did you expect to win it? Uh, how are you going to uh, find you? It's tough to explain. Uh, uh, try. Well, uh, he's a friend of mine, and uh, I figured I'd anticipate him, that's all. Anticipate? Yes, well, uh, I mean, I figured he'd leave a trail, you know. Maybe it wouldn't look like a trail to you, but I would know that it's a trail, and uh, I would find it. I repeat, said you are where? Uh, and when? I don't know. Just pray. Pray that it will be so. had one about five minutes ago. Put your foot on the box. Why? Ted, tell you if you get good shoe shining, no charge. Well, all right. I, I guess it wouldn't hurt anything, really. And I've always wondered about uh, testing your shoe shine and how good it was after you couldn't see your face in it or something. Rotten, huh? Senor, the clothes don't squeak when I do it over the shoe. For a peso, I'll fix. Okay, go ahead. Wait a minute, hold it, hold it. What's your name? Ramon, what's yours? Kelly. Glad to meet you, Ramon. Con mucho gusto, senor. Ramon? What are you doing today? What's happening? It is Sunday. I have already been to church. I pray for a lot of dusty shoes. I got something in mind for today. Would even be better than dusty shoes. I pray for that, too. What is it? How would you like to go through the entire day today with an expense account? Expense? Yeah, an expense account. I mean, how would that be? What is it? What is it? Why, my boy, an expense account... Uh, I don't know. It's like money, uh, dinero. Multiply by eight. I beg your pardon? Money from pesos to dollars multiplied by eight. What you learn when you get a shoe back? Ramon, you are definitely my man. Bring your shoe box and come along. We got work to do. Come on. Senor, you want a 
shoe shine? Sorry about that. What'd you say? It's a shoe shine. No, what'd you say after that? Sorry about that. Who told you to say that? Go for yourself. Go for yourself. I'm telling you now, the man is dying. He's terribly sick. If you don't tell me where he is, he's going to die. Where is he? He said at first you will be angry, but then you are gentle. He says to like you, I like you. But he says you are a very cheater. Why'd you say that? Because of the police, because you went to them to help. All right, now, listen, I want to tell you something. It's very important. I want you to listen, all right? All right. All right, now, Kelly was wounded last night by a knife, see? And on the knife, there were some germs, very powerful germs. Now, if we don't find them in time and get him to a hospital... He will die? He will die. Senor, he also said you are a very clever man. He said you had tricks. There is a bad story about a knife with germs. And if I didn't know you had tricks, I would cry. I'm not crying, senor. And every minute we waste brings him closer and closer to dying. This time is the truth? No tricks? It's the truth. No tricks. Then we should not stay here and talk. All right, now, where is he? Xochimilco. He is there. He said it's a beautiful Sunday to spend it with a boat and with flowers, and you will not think to look for him there. What's your name? Ramon. All right, now, Ramon. No tricks, right? All right. His life depends upon no tricks. I have plenty of money, senor. Expense account. I'm here.
sometimes I get a little. I wait. All right, thanks a lot. De nada, señor. I wait for you. Very progressive, no? Very progressive. But I don't like it. In the end, as you have explained, you must pay for what you buy with this. Me, I prefer expensive car. I think you're right, Ramon. Vámonos. It is very progressive, our university. It's magnificent. It really is to be proud of. See. There are many students here, ready to serve Mexico. Someday, it will be me. Well, you're gonna have to shine a lot of shoes. I will shine them, senor. I bet you will. It is true, senor, that Ramon gave us each a peso to do what we did. But I don't know him very well. I don't know where he lives. Really. <laughs> so you see, senor? has never been finished, it will never be finished. Just grow and grow. It is wonderful, no? It is wonderful, yes. Sí, como le digo, se fue en un carro con un niño rumbo a la ciudad universitaria. Seguro. Sí, seguro. Gracias. Hasta luego. Expense account. La expense account. I'm his guide. We're at the university now, and from there, we're going to visit Tia Teresa in the country. Yes? Senor Kelly, Mama oh. wants to talk with you. Well, I don't have very much Spanish. She has a little English, senor. She will hear your voice and know you're a nice man. Hello, Mama. Si. Que? Uh, mama, despacio. Uh, no entiendo. Ah. Uh. Si. <laughs> si. Ah, uh, si. Está bien. Si. Ok. Adiós. Yo te amo, mamá. Bésame. 
I thought you said that she had uh, a little English. Didn't she say, what's up, Charlie Brown? <laughs> As a matter of fact, she did. That's her English she has. So you're Kelly, your tricky friend. Stealing seconds again. He's got the whole police force looking for us. Come on. <laughs> Senor Scott, is that even though your friend was seen entering the bus, all the buses look the same. Now, the police have not been able to learn the destination of the particular bus on which your friend was, if it was your friend. Dumb bet. Uh, pardon? I said it was a dumb bet. See, si. I just wanted you to hear yourself say it at least two times. Yeah, well, I said it. All right, now what are we going to do? Do you realize what time it is? I don't want to realize what time it is. I'm not even thinking about the time. Your friend has but a few hours to live. I said I don't want to hear it! I'm sorry. Ah, oh, there are dozens of towns around Mexico. And there are many buses and dozens of stops in between. All right, I figure that the man will come down to Acapulco. Uh -uh. Yeah. Now, it's uh, not on that bus. It's a local bus. It's not as splendid as the buses that come from Mexico to Acapulco. All right. Then is it possible that the man could change buses at different stages? Well, he could take a local bus um, to uh, Cuenavaca. Mm -hmm. And then to uh, Tasco. Mm -hmm. And then to... Well, why don't we try that? Why not? It's a roadblock. Your face. Huh? Sweat. Oh, yeah, well, it's uh, a little close in there. ¿Qué pasó? A ver, dígame. Hágale que le diga, por favor. Por favor. Hágame el favor de bajarse. Ándale. Bájese. 
Ándele, ándele, sí, bájese pa. Pues aquí los policías estos que llegan aquí. Válgame, ándale linda, vete para allá atrás. Aquí nomás los conectoncitos y toda la cosa. Y su plantita, ándele, váyase para allá atrás, señora. Ándele, y la verdura y toda la cosa. ¿Qué tal, abuelita? Ándele, váyase para allá atrás, con cuidado. Ándale, chula. Te estaba esperando tanta verdura. Ándele, hágase para allá atrás. Ándale, ándale, ándale. 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 Puedo decirle a los pasajeros que ya se suben. No es una señor. I have already asked him about an American or a Mexican boy. He says he uh, he believes there was such, but you know the bus has made many stops. He did not pay attention to who got on and who got off. Uh, I'm sorry, señor. <laughs> Válgame, Dios. Dile que no, muchachito. ¿Cómo has estado, muchacho? Ándale. Oye, ¿qué buscan? Pues aquí los policías estos andan buscando a un perdido. No, hombre, qué perdido. ¿Sabes? Por ahí así. No, que es que a esta gente no se les va a ni We did fine. You feel all right, senor? I feel like a man who has just crawled out from under a busload of luggage. Otherwise, I really, really feel rotten, as a matter of fact. Perhaps I have done a very bad thing. Why? What do you mean? Come, we will get off the bus. Not far from here, I have an end, Tia Teresa. She'll know what to do, quick. Well, why? Quick for what? Silly. No, senor. Not silly. You are very sick. Terrible sick. Uh, give me a hand up. Si. Lean on me. Mm -hmm. Ah! The wound! How did you know? How did you know about my, my leg? Your friend, he said the knife had a poison, a germ, something to make you sick. Oh, I thought it was a trick. That's all right. That was my fault. Come, I will take care of you, 
Doctor? It's a small village, senor. There are no doctors. But she's pretty good on fevers. She'll know what to do. Well, better we go back to Mexico and get a doctor. Uh, police. The police will know what to do. Okay? Okay. ¿Qué tienes, muchacho? ¿Qué te pasa? ¿Me lleva a México? ¿A México? ¿A qué quieres ir a México? Tengo que ir, por favor. Bueno, vamos.
diabetes están muy enfermos. Yo sé que hay miles de doctores, pero empieza a llamarlos ya. No sé. Haga lo que pueda. Uh, un momento. I know where he is. I swear to you. Yeah, it's a long road. Perhaps he made a mistake. Ramon. Kelly! Ramon, come back. It's dark Where out here. It's Kelly? easy to mistake Where anything. Are come, on. come on. Listen. Listen. Come on. Now. You think because I'm small, I can afford me. Yeah, well, well wait a minute. Now, I could have been confused. That's not so. I could have been confused. But not me. I left them here. Why did you do such a crazy thing? Bet with my friend. And now he will die, and it will be up on your hands, and up on mine. We'll find him. How? Oh, the man wasn't strong enough to walk away from here. He's too far back, if this is the spot, for somebody to drive by and see him. So. Somebody probably came walking through here, found him, and took him someplace where he could be cared for. You think so, senor? I know so. Where? That's what I want you to tell me. How can I do that, senor? Are there any villages up in these hills? See, my tia Teresa lives in one of them. We were going to visit my tia Teresa, but then, oh, senor, he was very sick. How many villages? Maybe three? I think more. And which one is my friend? Oh, my Este hombre se muere. No podemos permitirlo. Si es la voluntad de Dios, se morirá. Tal vez sí, tal vez no. Mientras tanto, tenemos que tratar de salvarlo. Pero, ¿qué podemos hacer? No hay un doctor cerca. Se muere, se muere. En la flor de manzanilla se compra en la botica, se hace un té y eso baja la fiebre. Sí, flor de manzanilla. Sí. Vaya a la botica. Manzanilla. Voy corriendo a la botica. San Luis. Sí. ¿Cuál plan? ¿Cuál plan? Sí. Well, he was right. There's only uh, three villages around here. All right, now let's assume that whoever found him wanted to help him. Let's assume they wanted to take him to a doctor. Well, in this area would be a botica. Uh, that's a pharmacy. Uh, there would be one to service the villages nearby. You see, one would go there to get a medication for a chill or a fever or... Whatever, if, uh, if uh, there was no doctor about. In San Luis, in San Luis is a botica. I know, my dad Teresa lives in San Luis. Buenas noches, señores. ¿Qué se les ofrece? Uh, Tenía usted... Uh, uh, señor, estamos buscando... With your permission, sir. Yes. Are you a North American? Sí. I have so little chance to speak my English, so if you would... Yeah. Yeah. Pilar estudia el inglés todo el tiempo, por eso lo habla. Es muy bien. How may we assist you? Well, we're looking for someone who uh, could have possibly come in earlier looking for something for a uh, fever. I don't think so, señor. What, can you be certain? Well, there have only been two or three people here this evening. One for chewing gum, mm -hmm. one for, how you say? Hairspray. Hairspray, and one for... Nose, nose drops, yeah. uh, Are you certain? Si. Well, what about him? Well, what did he buy? Manzanilla, for tea. Senor! Manzanilla! 
for tea, like my tia Teresa. Always for fevers, for fevers. Señor, señor, un momentito, espéreme. ¿Qué pasa, muchacho? No comprendo. Contigo, un norteamericano. Sí. Oh, señor. It's okay. We found him. We'll get him to a doctor. So, aren't you sure? Well, I guess so. All right, then. You miss him, don't you? See. Si. Yeah. You too, senor? Me too. The sickness from the knife. Anthrax. How long does it take to become well from this anthrax? Depends on whether you catch it in time. We caught it on time, senor. And who the doctor is? He is a very fine doctor, senor. And who the nurse is? She's a very fine nurse. But only, I don't understand why he says no visitors all the time. As long as I know Tia Teresa, she takes care of me. But now... I don't think I should have any visitors for a long, long time. Don't you think so, Tia Teresa? Absolutamente no, señor King. Absolutamente no. 